Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon, and welcome to the Halloween event special for Vox Adventures. Yes, the event is back, and if you're wondering why I'm not using the server texture pack, well, I'll show you. Yes, I know it's been updated, but, um, that's the one I found on the site. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, if you're curious about the horror resource packs, um, tried nothing that really worked. Either it was for an older version of Minecraft or they just plain wouldn't work. using the microphone today because uh yeah i forgot to charge my headset yesterday giant on this texture pack, I'm not gonna lie. So this isn't exactly as zombie intended things to look, uh, since well, you saw the texture pack, it, and I've been having difficulty getting Optifine to work, so here we are. Yeah, as you can hear, that knows a gas gasting about. Uh, things are really different about the event world. Things are very different. We've got new locations. A new layout, basically. It's actually supposed to be a frog. Dog up skeleton. Just teleport. What's this place even supposed to be? Cages uh, hanging from the trees. Was 
does not say does not say frog or toad. Oh, I said frog yesterday. seen this place last night. This is an interesting place. Is this like the Bell Witch Cave or something? Yeah, so these are supposed to be ravens. Yeah, I'm guessing those are gallons up there. Oh, what does that say? Lost Vanguard. the headstones but you didn't move the body. Ah. Okay now how do I get out of here? Okay, 
if you want me to, okay, I'm suggest some movies for October, um, uh, The Haunting, that would be the original film from 1963, uh, House of Wax starring Vincent Price, so the 1953 version, uh, Freaks, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the 1941 version, uh, don't forget to see the Burbank Films Australia version. It's animated, very good. Also see Eye Monster, another adaptation of Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <coughs> uh, also check out Laval Luton films. Uh, Cat People, so the one from the 40s, not the one from the 80s. Uh, the sequel and Curse of the Cat People. I Walked with a Zombie, and um. Good lord, what was that one with the uh, Bella Lugosi and Boris Karloff? Can't remember. Oh yeah, the body snatcher. Now, Val Luton's uh, films I mentioned, the Cat People movies I watched with with a zombie and a the body snatcher they are they were all produced by RKO who you will recognize as the production company and distributor of the original King Kong So at RKO. <coughs> oh, how long I get the charge or so? Hold that thought. Okay, so where was I? Oh yes, uh, the RKO, the RKO uh, horror films of the 1940s were considered the antithesis of the Universal ones. Universal was considered kid stuff. People of all ages would go to see them, but RKO was more the adult stuff. Uh, Heavier, a bit more cerebral. And what's interesting about Val Luton is that the films he produced, uh, he'd be given a title and then he'd make something completely different. Cat people, you don't see any cat people on screen. You don't see anything that would, that in your mind, you'd set, you'd see it and go, that's a rare cat. You don't see that. Uh, uh, I 
Walks with a Zombie. It's basically an adapt an adaptation of Jane Eyre. And a damn good one. And it's also a really good zombie movie. How do I get out of here? Is there any way out of here? <clears throat> Is there a way out? This is a bit like a horror movie. It's cramped. You don't know what you're gonna encounter. Uh, if you were to encounter a drowned down there, geez, that would really be something. Okay, so we got the gallows up there. Still got the barn with the nightmare somewhere, I think. Unless that's been removed. I saw it last night, but I don't know what's going on. Uh, must have passed it by or something. Pumpkin beasts. What is this? Oh, 
car, you can just take an entire, you can just walk around it in a circle, that's cool. <clears throat> of course, if you want to watch something on YouTube, I do have recommendations. Um, bedtime stories, of course, I hardly recommend. They, they've been doing an excellent job, and they have a sister channel now, Wartime Stories, so check that out too. Uh, but also, uh, check out Doug Walker's Dark Tunes series. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, recently, uh, the latest... dark piece of animation for a family audience that he had, that he's done was, uh, <clears throat> The Legend of Sneaky Hollow, half of The Adventures of Echabod and Mr. Toad, which is funny because he said he's not only looking for movie scenes, and yet he does half a movie. Uh, yeah, but that was actually my first introduction to the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh, saw it long ago when I was very, very young, could only remember the, the ending. And by that I mean, I mean it literally, I could just remember I could just remember, um, I don't know, there was something about here last night. Yeah, I could only remember the ending with the Headless Horseman and his horse rearing and then the song and book and all that. I saw a bit more of that years later on a Disney Halloween special, and then I eventually just got the movie. It's my favorite adaptation of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Um, uh, the Wind and the Willows adaptation is kind of subpar. Actually, it's very subpar. Oh, jeez. Uh, <clears throat> the next adaptation of the Legend of Snoopy Hollow that I saw was uh, the Wishbone adaptation, where of course, where of course the titular dog. Uh, played the role of Ichabod Crane, and it's interesting because it ends with a very very dark implication that uh, Ichabod was murdered by drawn bones. Of course, in the Tim Burton film, I've also seen an animated short from the 1930s. Yeah, it hasn't aged greatly, that one. Uh, black face up here, so of course it hasn't aged greatly. Oh, jeez.
I'm not done showing everyone around. I mean, there are those two locations that have seemed to have vanished, but, uh, nothing I can do about that. Nothing at all. We have names. Uh, back to Wendell and Williams. I've not seen a ton of adaptations, but I've only had an animated adaptation done in the mid to early 90s, maybe the late 80s, which uh, I believe had Michael Gambin as Badger and uh, Rick Mayall as uh, Rick Mayall as Toad is actually the more infinitely more faithful to the original uh, Give me your blood. Uh, the Sunny Duvall series, um, Tom Towns and Legends, a successor to Fairy Channel Theatre, also adapted The Legend of Sneaky Hollow, but. It's interesting because as the Legend of Sneaky Hollow deals with Tom Towns and Legends, uh, but it's not either itself. It's it's completely a work of fiction, whose subject matter ends up being that uh, you've got the title, the Legend of Sneaky Hollow. So we've got legends right there in the title, but uh, yeah, it's something that Washington Irving completely invented. Uh, John Henry, Johnny Appleseed, I can see being in there being adapted uh, since those are tall tales those are legends they fit but it kind of seems like the legend of sleepy hollow only got adapted because of the word that's in the title have i seen it not yet the stone it seems odd Clock Tower. Now it's like Castlevania.
church. Didn't see that last night. Actually, no, I think I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. <clears throat> In your hands, O leader, we humbly entrust our siblings. In this life you embraced them, and through your son you gave them a second chance. Deliver them now from every evil this land has sought, and bid them rest till night falls. The old order has passed an untimely end. Welcome them into paradise beyond, where there is no sorrow, no weeping, nor pain. But filled with peace and joy, along with yourself and the holy two, now and forevermore. We pledge ourselves, our bodies and songs, to worship your blood, blessed by the holy ones, a son left in our care, saviour to us all, with his blood, your blood, a new leader commands, the remnants of our following close behind. For those who seek the light, a dark force rises. To rest their bodies, a village shields not from which seeks to harm. Buildings were raised, a pyramid constructed to honor our hero. Leader past, we are ever thankful for their work while we slumber. Eternal gratitude to the dark force. Uh, so what does happen if I take the book? Do, do enemies pop up? Who knows? If you want to do it, then be my guest. Actually, let's let's see what happens. Oh, you can't take the book. So, actually, that would be interesting. You try to take a book and enemies from the church. Enemies start popping up everywhere. You took the book. Now it's up to you to put it back. And now we have a volcano. Let's go mountain climbing. Okay, I was able to get to the top last night. How did I do that?
There we go. Odin! Uh, whoops, okay. Um. Ernest Borgdorn's best ones, but, uh, good lord, I would, uh, quoting that far on end would have been not exactly good if I landed in the lava. get out of here. There's no way out, it's got oh, I'm gonna show up and uh lead me to the back door. <laughs> Circus is actually my second favorite. My first favorite is Brother Theodore. And he, he played him in the Rankin Bass adaptations. I highly recommend The Hobbit. Theodore, Lord of the Rings, Andy Circus. I really, I probably, it's really Brother Theodore that I, whose voice I hear when I read The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. I'm not sure why. And it's really, well, the Rankin Bass version of Gollum that I picture. Okay, what have we here? What is that? Random orb on a spire? Okay, I see a dragon head. I really do. a way out. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just doing that. Okay, be quick. Oh, jeez. Yeah, how have we tried looking for the stable for some nightmares again? Uh, we've already nearly burned to death. Twice. Well, I would have if I had hit lava, but I didn't. Yeah, this is what the center of Haven looks like. flung around somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there, there it is. So yeah, as you can see, everything's still here. Tunes. I've also seen Grinch Knight, uh, Halloween is Grinch Knight, so I don't own it, but I've seen it on YouTube. Uh, I think that was Dr. Seuss's favorite. Uh, uh, special based off of his work. Well, not that there was actually a book called Grinch Knight, but it was based on one of his characters, so there you go. And Hans Conrad, uh, uh, who, of course, was the voice of Captain Hook in Disney's Peter Pan, but also voiced Thorin Oakenshield in Rankin Bass's adaptation of The Hobbit, uh, voiced the Grinch.
What's your work we got? Hollows Eve Plains. Hollows Eve Mange. Hollows Eve Ranger. Hollows Eve Bard. Hats, Collectibles, Titans, Candy Exchange. Tones and Materials, Trinkets, Pumpkin Masks. Prestige, Hollow Eve Diamond, Hollow's Eve Rogue, Hollow's Eve Berserkers, Hollow's Eve Weapons, Dragon Soul, Here. Hey, Yorick. Sans Papyrus. Miguel, how are you how are you all doing? Uh, so yeah, no one up there. Now let's try uh, navigating the tree again. Now hopefully we won't get uh, sniped down. Jeez, must have had a longbow or something. Looks sinister. that place down in the bamboo forest the jungle whatever you wish to call it uh, let's go find it there was something there I know it
Now it's uh, a bit early and I don't think the boss is up to the here yet. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Fight skeletons like in Jason and the Argonauts. Okay, uh
cloaking rabbits. You know, that's uh, not what I expected. Now, if I can get off the phone to work. Well, that's all for today. I'm. Oh, jeez. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay straight.